Major storm system is going to send another atmospheric river towards the Bay Area, but for most of today, we're just going to see light off and on showers like we've had the past couple of days. That next atmospheric river moves in tonight and it's going to be sending heavy rain and gusty winds across the Bay Area well into tomorrow. Both flooding and wind damage are going to be possible, even likely given the amount of wind energy in the atmosphere overhead. And then we settle into an unsettled showery pattern for most of next week. Let's take a look at Futurecast and track this hour by hour as we head through most of the day, just off and on showers. Hours, kind of that scattered pattern that we've seen the past few days, but here comes the rain already arriving as the sun goes down, especially for the southern half of the Bay Area with widespread moderate to heavy rain, a very similar strength system compared to what we had back on Wednesday, but it's falling onto already saturated soils and that really does elevate the flooding threats like trying to put more water into an already saturated sponge. The ground just can't hold, handle a whole lot more of that. That heavy rain is going to continue through the first half of the day on Sunday, but the earlier arrival of that rain today means that it should move out a little bit faster on Sunday. By the afternoon, we should be back into an off and on shower pattern, but the wind energy is still going to be significant. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's take a look at how much rain we expect to fall over the course of the next few days. With the lingering showers on Monday, we'll take the rainfall forecast through Monday. And we're talking about around two inches of rain in the Santa Clara Valley, but the boom and bust I've highlighted on the map indicate the range of possibilities. One to three inches of rain possible around San Jose. Similar range of possibilities inland in the East Bay, but generally expecting around two inches of rain. It's a wider range of possibilities for San Francisco, but expecting about two and a half inches of rain in the city, over three inches of rain for Half Moon Bay. And for the North Bay, while well, we're expecting a little more than two inches of rain, very similar to other numbers around the Bay Area, a wider range of possibilities because of the tra trajectory the system is following. It brings in the possibility that if it just wiggles a little bit, Santa Rosa could easily double the amount of rain that we're forecasting, which is currently about 2.2 inches of total rainfall through Monday. Let's come back to the wind aspect of this system. The winds are going to be noticeable already by the time we get into the evening hours tonight, but the strongest winds are going to start to develop closer to sunrise on Sunday morning. Widespread 40 plus mile an hour wind gusts at that point, and the peak of the wind energy looks like it's going to be late morning on Sunday. 50 plus mile an hour gusts are going to be possible even at sea level, and given the saturated soils, the root systems of the trees just can't hold on to that very wet soil in the face of 50 mile an hour winds, so more widespread tree damage and power outages are going to be possible. Possible. While the winds aren't going to be as strong Sunday afternoon, they're still going to be quite elevated in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range for several hours Sunday afternoon. And this is going to be a significant snowmaker for the Sierra winter storm warning in effect all the way through 4 a.m. Tuesday. A couple feet of snow at lake level around South Lake Tahoe, but several feet of snow higher up in elevation. US 50 and I 80 are going to be almost impossible to travel on. Travel is strongly discouraged as we head through the weekend and into early next week. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast and really all the action here is at the beginning of the seven day forecast. In between those showers today, temperatures will reach the mid to upper 50s and then the widespread rain moves in rain and wind for much of the day tomorrow tapering off late in the day and then showers Monday and Tuesday shouldn't cause any additional problems a dry day on Wednesday. How about that? And then we see more showers becoming likely by Thursday and Friday, but those are going to be scattered light showers. They also should not cause any additional problems.